Virginia's embattled governor facing growing calls to resign, but tonight insisting he's not going anywhere. Ralph Northam fighting to keep his job since a racist image in his medical school yearbook surfaced. Then later he admitted to appearing in blackface once in his past. His argument now is that he is the best person to heal these wounds. But even as he made that case in a new TV interview, he caused more confusion in how he described the first Africans who arrived in Virginia. ABC's Zachary Keish starts us off. In the first days of what he calls his racial reconciliation tour, Governor Ralph Northam with a stumble. The first uh, indentured servants from Africa landed on our shores in Old Point Comfort, what we call now Fort Monroe and Wild. Also known as slavery. Yes. Yeah. The embattled governor also rejecting the relentless flood of calls to resign. Virginia needs someone that can heal. Uh, there's no better person to do that than a doctor. Virginia also needs someone who is strong, who has empathy, who has courage, and who has a moral compass. And that's why I'm not going anywhere. I have learned from this. I have a lot more to learn. It was eight days ago when the governor admitted to using blackface at a dance contest, but denied he was either person in this racist photo that was on his yearbook page. Tonight, the man in line to succeed Northam, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, facing an imminent threat of impeachment after two women accused him of sexual assault. Governor Northam asked about the situation. If these uh, accusations are determined to be true, I don't think he's going to have any other option but to resign. At this time, do you think he should resign? That's going to be a decision that he needs to make. Vanessa Tyson said Fairfax forced her to perform oral sex in 2004. Meredith Watson says Fairfax raped her while both were students at Duke in 2000. Both women say they will testify if there's an impeachment hearing. My client felt uh, a need to, a moral and civic duty to come forward. In his latest statement, Fairfax says, I did not sexually assault or rape Meredith Watson, Vanessa Tyson, or anyone else, and is calling for the FBI to investigate. Any message for the citizens of Virginia? Uh, we'll have our say. I'm uh, confident in the truth. Thank you all. All right, Zachary Keish joins us now from the state capitol in Richmond. And Zachary, the next few steps are complicated. If the impeachment of the lieutenant governor moves forward, which would include a trial in the state senate, how would Fairfax be replaced? Tom, it would make a complex situation even worse. The Virginia Constitution doesn't explicitly say how to fill the vacancy, so a massive political fight would likely ensue in court. Tom? Zachary Keish for us tonight from Richmond. Zachary, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.